Hi everyone, it's Lisa here. Um, I was requested by Sandra to show how to, um, like if you get a file from say like the cut shop or something like that, that is not an SVG file, like a silhouette file, how to um, either down, well, download it and then as well as to cut it out. So um, I've already purchased a cut file from uh, the cut shop and, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's this little heart sketchy heart background uh, from the cut shop and um, Let's you can see here. They have PNG and SVG files uh, I think it's the silhouette files or SIL or something like that. So um, Depends on whether you have the design studio or not for the silhouette um, if you don't, you're going to want to download the PNG one. So I'm going to do that because not a lot of people have the designer studio software. So we are just going to click download and I'm on a Mac. So you're going to see my little thing popped up way down at the bottom. And so, um, this is my little preview file right here. So when it comes up and it opens up, I like to go file, save. Actually, I like to go file and then I think save as, but I don't know if it'll come up. So anyway, it's been downloaded into my download file. Um, typically you'll have to check your preferences to see where it's actually downloaded. Now, again, I'm on a Mac. So what I do to find it is I go to my little finder right down here and I open it up. Okay, so um, I go to my finder and then now I have mine saved in my downloads. So if you go here, it's going to be this last file right here which says heartfelt 12 by 12 PNG. So if you are on a PC, you might want to just check to see when you're downloading it where it's going into your file if you want to like find it really quickly just go to the desk like when you go to save it save it to your desktop and then it'll come up right up in here so i'm going to go back to my downloads <clears throat> there is my file right here if you find it and you want to save it or have easy access i can just drag it and drop it right to my desktop and it's going to come up right there so i know where to find it so I'm going to minimize that and then I'm going to open up my Silhouette Studio. Okay, so when I open up the Silhouette Studio and I'm looking at this, there's a couple ways that I can open up that file. So I can either go File, Open, and then go to the desktop, and there it is right there. But I'm going to show you a trick. So I'm just going to cancel this right now. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize this file or this um, window or just move it over if I can just move it over ever so slightly so you can see my file is right here so all I have to do is just pull it in drag it over and it comes right onto the mat just like that so that's a little trick for you and then what you want to do, because this is not going to cut out like this. It's just, it's not going to, I'm going to show you if I press on the, on the cutting uh, little scissors, there's nothing highlighted here that's red and wherever it's red, it's going to cut out. So there's nothing at all right here. So let me go back. You're going to go to up here. There's a little thing that I call it like a piece of toast because this is what I look at. It looks like uh, bread and then here's the jam in the middle so let me just let me see if you can see that let me zoom in see there's the toast that's what I call the toast so uh, I'm gonna zoom out do do there we go okay so you click on the toast and then it's gonna come up with this pop-up screen so you're gonna select trace area and then you're going to go over here and you're going to select all of the whole thing. So, and then you let go and then this is going to be yellow. And, but if you look like super close, like if I zoom in, you're going to see like it's got these kind of jagged edges 
around it, if you can see that. It's kind of jagged. So it's not going to cut really clean. So what you're going to do is you're going to check off. See this high pass filter? You're going to check off that. And then <clears throat> you're going to see here the threshold. We're going to bump that up. So as soon as I bump that up, you're going to see, if you look at the lines here, they're going to become way more solid. So there you go. Now, if you wanted to um, kind of mess around with this a little bit, you can see if I take it right off, it's not that clean. But see, as soon as I, I'm just kind of, if you can see here, I'm kind of toggling with the, the thing. But if you can see, the more I kind of bump it up, the more clear and defined these lines are going to be. So I'm going to bump it up all the way. And when you're um, working with a cut file, you just kind of want to look at the overall uh, scale of the design and see sometimes you don't want to like bump the threshold up all the way and sometimes you do. It just depends on the cut file. So then after you do that, uh, let me see. Should be good. Oops. Oh, and then <clears throat> after you get that all done, then you click, see how it's all yellow. Then you want to click trace. You could click trace outer edge if you want, if you just want like the outer edge, but it won't cut anything on the inside. It'll just be on the outside of this. And then there's also a trace and detach, but we're not going to deal with that. Okay. So now if you can see, if I, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit you're going to see it's got these little red highlights just around the edge of this cut. So what you want to do is you're going to take it and you're just going to move the black part away or you can just delete it altogether. So I'm going to delete that. Let me just highlight that and delete it. Now you're left with this cut file. So if I zoom out, there is the cut file right there. So we can now cut this all out. So if I click on the little cutting thing. Now you're going to see it's all red. So now I can cut that all out. So I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And after you cut it out, this is what you're left with. This is a really cool cut file. So again, this is from the cut shop. So um, really cool. Um, I hope that explains a lot of how to do it on your silhouette. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will try and answer them for you. I'm sure there's a lot of other videos out there explaining it in... Um, maybe a proper way to do it, but this is how I do it and it seems to work. So thank you everybody for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.